Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing from Portland Leather Goods. This is a leather tote in Badland color. There has been a lot of debate about this leather. Some people like it, but some people don't like it as much. I was really curious and when they added it to the regular tote collection, I thought I have to order it to see how it looks like. So today we are going to check it out and analyze how this Badland leather looks like. Here is the thank you note. If you are still not familiar with Portland Leather Goods, they are a company based in Portland, Oregon, but they made their bag in Mexico. The quality seems to be very similar to when they made their bag locally in Portland, so I still love their bags and highly recommend their bag. Now let's look at what came today. This is how it looked like in the box. Put down my exacto knife. Let's open it up. Let me take out all the stuffing first. So this is their oversized hood in Badland color. A lot of people compare this to their cold brew color. So I have the cold brew color here in comparison. Let me take a look. I can see why they think these two are very similar. For cold brew, the color is very even, and with bad lens, you can see the pull-up color variation throughout the leather. A lot of people mention that the leather is more stiff, and I can see that it's a very structured tote. Trying to see if I can show you how structured it feels. So if you like a structured tote, you can try out bad length. I know some people flip this back to make it softer. So if you like this color option and you like the leather to be softer, you can try to flip it. If you are not familiar with the terms of flipping, which means they actually slowly push in the corner of the leather back. You push in four corners and then you slowly pull it out from the inside. Basically, you flip it inside out. By working on the back like that, you kind of put a lot of pressure on the leather in bending and pushing it. So in the process, the leather kind of gets softened. In a way that you kind of fast track the aging process of the leather. I bought this bag from their almost perfect collection. So far, I haven't seen any significant flaw that would make me worry. Let's zip it up. Zipper is very smooth. Still say YKK zipper. I love their zipper, it's very smooth. And the back side, the texture is very even. Very beautiful. If you are familiar with Portland Leather Goods, it has been a long time. They haven't added any new colors to their regular tote lineup. Badland is probably the first one they added in a very long time. So to support them, I have to get it because if nobody buy the new color, then I'm sure they won't add more new color, right? So if you want to see more new color, I guess let's buy more bigger bags from them and hopefully they will add more fun colors to their big tote collection. So for the oversized tote, inside the tote you have this button you can use it to attach your keys and then on the other side you get this slip pocket the texture is really nice I can see that Badland is a little bit stiff with this kind of leather every bag is unique on its own so you like leather bag that has some uniqueness I think you can consider this one with this Badland's leather it's a leather that has pull up which means that when you 
when you press it, when you bend it, you can see the color variation develop and push through the leather. Other than the regular tote, they also added the Badlands color to their mini crossbody tote, their medium crossbody and their large crossbody. So you have many options. If you like this kind of color and this kind of leather texture, you can go find one that match your need. To be honest, I was surprised people mentioned how, how stiff the leather was for them and how they didn't like that kind of leather. To me, it's not that bad. It's just slightly more structure. I think with stiff leather like that, it's easier when you want to pack things in because the leather will stay put and you can add things in without have to worry this tip over. Let's zip it up. Personally, I'm more of a crossbody person, but I do really like the uh, oversized tote. And recently, I have found a horseshoe D ring that I like that I can attach between the rivets. One, one on the front and one on the back. That way, I can use it as a shoulder bag, or if I need to use it as a crossbody, I, I have the option. It's a game changer to add the D ring so that you can have the crossbody feature. It's great for travel. Imagine when you're running through airport, sometimes you need your hands to carry other stuff. You can just carry this as a crossbody bag. I have Portland leather goods strap here. Unfortunately, their straps are sold out at this point. Hopefully, they will bring back the strap at some point. So I just want to show you how it looks like carry it as a crossbody bag. It's really convenient when you need it. Otherwise, you can just carry it as a shoulder bag. Anyway, I really love what I received today and I'm happy with the leather. I don't think it's bad at all. So if you have been hesitating to get a bad lens leather tote from Portland Leather Goods, I think you can consider it. It's not horrible in any way. It's just a little bit stiff and more structure. And I just love the color. It's worth to try it. So, thanks for joining me today for this quick unboxing and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!